Hey everybody, this is Batfoot, and today we're going to talk about how to make a village in Dungeon Alchemist. This is the village of Winescwood. It is two parts, and I made it for one of my patrons and for my patrons who voted because they wanted a sort of base for the village or for the for the players to uh, to be a, a home village, whether that's where they're from or part of a mission. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how I made it. First of all, just simple grasslands, no vegetation and no elevation. Just um, put a road through the center there. And then the first thing I made was this winery and I'll show you how to make that. It's really easy. The way to make the winery is you have to draw this whole winery thing out as a room and it will show up as, as just a room. And then I went in and I took the wall things and I deleted all the walls using this and then I had to put in the floor and I used um, the natural tiles I used this farmland tile but I could have used another tile I could have made it look like this if I wanted a lighter ground cover something like that I will say that the only thing I'm not fond of with Dungeon Alchemist yet is the fact that everything's a square and I can't really blend these together very well so it looks pretty squarish if you use different tiles, but um, you could probably put some grass underneath them. You could you could even uh, do it like that with maybe you know more of a path where people walk or whatever. However, you want to make your winery. If you want to make the actual um, wine grapes, pretty easy to do. First of all, um, these are not grapes; these are just bushes. But you go in, you grab yourself a wall. And you can't do this on the normal grass. That's why you have to draw the room out. I found different ones I liked. I kind of liked this one. And then I just put it down where I wanted it in sort of a row. And then I just chose a bush that would work for me. For example, uh, this bush right here. I can grab it. And it doesn't fit exactly in the middle. So you kind of have to put it where it's going to... It's going to go you can put it on either side and then you've got yourself a little bit of a thing you can you can size and resize the bush how you want it so that it is bigger and sometimes it doesn't size exactly like you might want it so you can even pick it out here and size it up and then once I do that I kind of just copied and pasted as many of these as I as I could so that they were of somewhat of an equal size. So that is my that is my winery. You can see how the big bush doesn't really work here. Okay. Um, the only other thing that I did with the winery is I put a little light in it so that it would look cool at night and a few tools around, and that was that. Now for the rest of the for the rest of the village, I tried to make the general store something that the players could walk into, look around, and maybe see things they want, like this hammer. You know my. My, my hope is when a player walks in here, the first thing they do is start going, oh, I want that, right? Like this big hammer or uh, the, the, the loot or whatever. And then the rest of the rooms are just there in case uh, the players want to um, own the shop or rip off the shop, hopefully not, whatever they want to do. There's places to chill. This little hot tub out here in this tent can can provide story elements. Of course, the tavern is where everybody's going to go have a little bit of ale and um, some rooms and the, the mugs of the regulars, of course, decorate the uh, mantle of, of the hearth there. So um, maybe you can even earn to get your mug up there. There's a couple rooms and I didn't provide the upstairs here. I did provide a couple upstairs in other places. Uh, there is a ladder somewhere that goes up, I think. Uh, now, in the back, of course, there's the pig pit. If you and your buddies want to sit around at night, the boys or the girls, and drink some ale and roast this pig, uh, of course, you can do that. Um, the person who wanted this wanted a shoemaker's hut because there was a sort of shoemaker NPC. So we put this over here and that is pretty much the one side of wines. Oh, and the bakery, of course, where you get your, uh, your coffee in the morning. I put some chairs out here so that anybody could come out and it'd be a good place to get 
rumors. Then there's a, a meeting hall and a temple. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the other side um, of Winesburg Village, which is the west side. It's actually it's actually the east side because the road the roads would only match up that way. So, um, but you might be looking at it from you know, the north instead of the south. Who knows? Anyway, these two villages are available on my Patreon. You can get them there. This is the west side of the village, or rather the east side. And as you can see in this side, I did a couple things. Uh, one was I added a river. I added the Lord's house, and that actually does have an upstairs for patrons. Um, you can check that out. I'm going to turn the grid off here so you guys can see. Um, and this, uh, one of the things when you're making a house or anything that uh, you need a floor plan for, is it's a good idea to base it on a house that you know or one that you find on the internet. This is a house that I know pretty well. It's up in Maine. And so I kind of made it based on that house and I made an upstairs for the Lord's house. The other things, uh, we had a sort of a blacksmith and an armor close together here. And then we have another winery, a little river, some farmers. And, and, and then in this winery, there's a, another place that you can you know, come sit at night and hang out by the fire if you want. Now for the player's house, I made them a sort of ultimate little player's house. They've got a canoe to escape uh, and they've got a lab with uh, books and stuff and, and magic stuff. They can make things. Uh, there's, a, there's an upstairs that goes to an attic with another player's room, a main room for them, and then there's three rooms. And I tried to make them all different. So if the players want to fight over them, uh, each one has something different. This one has this cool hide a bed and hang out and a stove. This one has um, you know, a desk and a nice bed. This one is the smallest room, but it's also got a trap door and a uh, way out. If you want to hit the privy, of course, which is out there. Um, and and that is, uh, that is Winesburg Village. It's got couple other cool things there and then their mad alchemist lives at the top here that was part of the story from the patron um, we have a good time at the gremlin brothers i make stuff for patrons and we only have 11 of us so far so it's a good time to come on down and if you like it support me or just get my free maps and free stuff there and get in on the on the action get in on the discord and get some of this good stuff with Dungeon Alchemist. All right. Uh, thanks for taking a look at Wineswood Village. I hope you like it. Shoot me a comment, mash that subscribe bu button, and um, thanks for watching.